Beneath the tree is a tiny little shed. Ah, oh, I call it tiny because it's right next to this enormous ruin of Furness Abbey. Wow, beautiful red sandstone. It's a startlingly massive structure. They did some uh, restoration recently and discovered by accident a grave of a real live dead abbot from squillions of years ago. They knew he was an abbot because he had a gold ring on and he had a crozier with gold of embellishment on it. Terribly exciting. At the time of the dissolution of the monasteries, this was the second wealthiest Cistercian Abbey in England after Fountains Abbey in Yorkshire. We've had loads of monks here and of course they campaigned bitterly uh, against closure. Didn't succeed of course, all the treasures were taken. Ruins are often grander than a finished building. There's something about the fact that they've been left to fall apart. There's something mournful and slightly sad about it, but also something magnificent about the creation. Just reminding us that whatever we build in our lives, take care of it. It's important whether that's a career or a relationship or even a great big abbey. But one of the things I love is that through the ages artists have been here including my favourite Joseph Turner. He would have stood here underneath these huge walls of the tower with his sketchbook in hand. On that day he would also have uh, sketched at Peel Castle out on the island. No record remains of what finished work he did. It's just his sketchbook and uh, clearly he, it, it, he did do a finished piece. It, can't find it. Have searched. Not to worry. I really like this place. I think it's a, an artist's dream. So I'm going to find my view and I'm going to show you what I think Turner would have painted.